Well, good morning. How do you do? It's Tucker coming in for another race day. I slept last night in El Dorado State Park. National Forest, yeah. It's a national forest. And today we are gonna go have some fun. Shh. And today we're gonna go have some fun on Kirkwood Mountain. It's a ski mountain just south of Lake Tahoe. I drove up from Santa Barbara yesterday. And en route, I had a sweat test. I'll share a little bit about that later. Uh, it's gonna be a nice day on the mountain today. Beautiful clear sky so far. I just crossed the pass, dipping down towards Kirkwood Mountain, and it is beautiful. Let me show you some of this. So that's the terrain we're working with today. Uh, you kind of just had to see it for yourself. I am about five minutes away from the mountain. Have a little breakfast, brush my teeth, register, and go have some fun. Gosh. Look at all of it. It's amazing. Okay, love you. Dipped up. 463, it's a good number, good color too. Oh, it's pretty chilly. I'll go back to the car. All right, I'm fine. Thanks. And I missed the starting gun again. Would you go figure? Coming out of the bathroom. That's okay. Just out here to run. Whatever though. If I get lost and I'm never seen again, this will be my last will and testament. Uh, Matt, you can have my running shoes. Nico, you can have my guitar. Turning off. I'm out here enjoying a nice incline with Mark behind me. Say what's up, Mark. What's up, man? I got Rob in front of me. Two ultra newbies today. Two first 50Ks. That's it. We may never finish this thing because we might get lost in the mountains forever, but at least we tried. We got some snow. I haven't run on snow since winter 2022 so feeling right at home here in the mountains yeah okay checking in how's it so far just past the hour mark and about five miles in finished two bottles of this so far which is good I'm trying to stay up on my hydration passing through these gorgeous mountain glades and huh, wildflowers are stunning right now it's gonna be a good day out in the mountain today How's everybody doing? Okay. Is that it? No. Oh, you got <laughs> Just 
hit eight miles in the first turn off. What'd you say the out and back is, four miles? Who knows? <laughs> We're offline blind here. Just took my first fall. Yeah, it was a real good looker. Man, let's see how many more of those I have today. Just past the two hour mark, and 10 miles in, running through an old section of forest fire. A lot of downed trees, it's really dusty. How's everybody doing? This is the man himself. Troy from Troy's right on, California yeah. Trail right Run. Cool. Thank you, Troy. Well done, guys. It's kind of remarkable that they were able to rebuild the trail so soon after the forest fires. These big dead fallen trees everywhere and they blazed a path. Coming into my halfway point here, the home stretch for the half marathoners. That was a nice turn off from a cruisy switch back down. I went up it and down it, and now I gotta go back up it again. I'm gonna go there first and refill everything and take off for the second half. Coming back to Red Cliffs Base Lodge. Nice to see some familiar terrain. Let's fuel on up and get back out there. Thank you everybody. See you again. I'm doing the exact same course, but in reverse. So I'll be back here in another 15 miles. I'm gonna stop off at my car, get some more drink next year. Probably spray down with some sunscreen. Okay. Mm. <coughs> that wasn't fun. I don't have to run if I don't want to, but I'm feeling good, so maybe I'll just keep doing it. I'm out here running a ski mountain today, and it's very familiar territory for me because I did a, most of my, get out of here. I did a lot of my hill training back east at New England Ski Mountains. There's really no better place to train back on the east for mountain climbing than ski mountains. So I feel like I'm back home. Except if the ski mountains from home were at 9,000 feet elevation. I can barely breathe. I'm barely breathing. It's na 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 day. Coming back up here, right? There he is, thank you. 60 miles. Just took a right. I got another four mile out and back. Oh, well, uh, that's sending some mixed signals. I'm, yeah, 19 even. What's up? We're out here rocking and rolling. 
just past the 21.5 milestone. Not that that's any real milestone, but whatever. Just came up and over two big climbs in the sun, and then I got about 10 miles left. Tally ho! Okay, coming off the trail for the last time. Three miles of road, back to the finish line. Ready to run into the home stretch? Let's go. This last mile and a half was the worst section of the whole race. And the crowds cheer. It definitely did. <laughs> Is that it? That's it. Good job, guys. Good job. Well done, everybody. Nice work. Man. Awesome work. <laughs> you! Amazing! We got seats here. Three seats. So I think that was a 6.55 finish. I think pretty respectable. Always nice to get a medal for a training run. Nah, I think I'm crushing it. All right, I just took a million photos. So. The race may be over, but the recovery just begins. And the first step in recovery in my book isn't even hydrating or refueling. It's getting in the water to wash off this nasty funk. Nasty funk comes with every race. It just comes with the territory. So let's go for a swim. I think that's a good idea. A swim and a lay out in the sun, and then I'll rehydrate and refuel. So that is it. That is the Kirkwood Ultras, a variety of races on the Kirkwood Ski Mountain, ranging, I think, from half marathon up to a 50K. They did have to cancel the 46 miler and the 100K last minute. That's what I was gonna run. I was gonna run the 46 miler as my last big, big training run. Lucky me, I get to go out tomorrow and tack on an extra 15 or 16 miles to make up for that. So that's okay. All in all, it has been a great day at the mountain. Wonderful, wonderful race day. I highly recommend if you are in the Lake Tahoe area to check out the Kirkwood Ultras. The, the races are organized by Troy. He runs those every year, so uh, give it a try. They're a lot of fun. Crossing the finish line, I think I finished sixth overall, sixth of 21 at the 50K. I was a little foggy and cloudy from mile 21 to 25, but I pulled back the pace a little bit, got some more fluids in me and some more electrolytes and I'm perked right back up. But it was a hot day, and anybody who's out there on the race course or even volunteering knows that this sun was just baking us on the mountainside. But I was glad to do it. Driving up for seven and a half hours from Santa Barbara, it was well worth the trip, and I'll definitely come back. So now it is time for me to go get some food in my belly. I am ravenous. Uh, maybe go get a burger and a beer. I got two and a half more weeks before I get on a plane and head to Chamonix for UTMB. I mentioned this in my video the other day that I am running UTMB as a fundraiser for an organization called Homes for Homes. It is a wonderful organization that builds homes for people in need. You'll find information for that in the description below. I would be not just incredibly grateful, but it's a special way for you to take part in this experience with me. So that is it for me. If you would, please go ahead and hit that like button, tap subscribe for more videos like this, more running, adventure, travel, and uh, I'll catch you around, all right? Safe travels, happy trails, take care.